Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about two key points. First one is VMware's journey from vSphere to hybrid cloud. And the second item is HPE collaboration for true hybrid cloud. Okay, so let's start with the first point. So VMware's journey from vSphere to hybrid cloud platform. VMware's journey, in other words, we call it as evolution or VMware's transformation. VMware is familiar with evolutions. The first, it was vSphere and we helped to virtualize the infrastructure layer. In our earlier days, in uh, almost 2000s, most of the organizations, they are running with a physical physical servers and applications also running on a bare metal operating system. When it comes with the virtualization, most of the organizations are consolidated their data center from physical to virtualization. During that era, the main product is vSphere. It consists of SXI and vCenter, and it will help to virtualize all our production workloads so during that process as we uh, know we are we were used vmware vcenter converter this converter it will help it helps to convert from physical machine to virtual machine okay and using after this conversion the benefit to the organization is the total it infrastructure cost was reduced okay so that's why most companies move to the virtualization and this is considered as a virtual infrastructure version 1 and then organization again started moving and vmware also comes with a new solution that is called version 2 we call it as software defined data center so when when we move to the software defined data center which allows us to run multiple virtualized infrastructure setups and execute them broadly that means earlier we talk about only the ESXi hypervisor and to manage multiple ESXi hosts, we were used vCenter. But the, the entire vSphere concept talks about server virtualization only. But when it comes to the software defined data center, within a data center, the main core components are server and network storage. So for server, we are where vSphere that is virtualized and for storage layer the virtualized storage concept called virtual SAN and for the network layer network hypervisor we also call it as NSX that means network network and security platform so using this network and security platform vSAN all these are considered as a software design defined data center and within stdc there is a management platform as well that is called aria aria suit earlier the aria suit another name was previous name was v relight suit but using this aria there is a some group of tools like aria automation Pre formally we call it as v relays automation and we also have aria operations aria operations for logs aria net aria operations for network that means previous names are v relays operations v relays network insight and also v relays log insight and uh, these all the tools comes with the aria suit when we have all these tools it is more than enough to manage our software defined data center okay and right now the present era is vmware moving towards the hybrid cloud platform so which allows us to bring together our different public clouds data centers and edge configuration let's talk about the base to top let's say bottom we have a virtual cloud networking and our existing stdc the next layer we call it as a vmware cloud foundation so this vmware cloud foundation in short form we call it as vcf vcf we can run it on on premises data centers we can run it on edge locations and we can also utilize to run it with a integrate with aws that means vmware cloud foundation along with AWS services. Similarly, for other public cloud or other hyperscaler scalers, that means VCF with Azure services, VCF with 
IBM services, VCF with GCP services, Google Cloud. So this is nothing but a our on-premises VMware Cloud Foundation tool have a capability to integrate with public cloud. So when we have on-premises integrate with public cloud is nothing but a on-premises cloud plus public cloud integration. We call it as a hybrid cloud platform. Okay, so it will help to powering our hybrid IT organization. In other words, the VMware's evolution started from virtual infrastructure and moved to the software defined data center. Now the future is now that is hybrid cloud platform. Okay, so hope you got an idea. And also this uh, on-premises private cloud solution, if anyone asked to implement on-premise private cloud solution, the solution name is VCF. And some organization, they want to run it with a multiple clouds also, not only limited to VMC on AWS, VMC on Azure or VMware Google Cloud Engine. They may, there is a possibility to run multiple clouds as well. Okay, if we have one private and public combination, we call it as hybrid cloud platform. If we have more than multiple public cloud or multiple private cloud, we consider it as a multi-cloud platform. Okay, so this is the overview of VMware transformation or journey from vSphere to hybrid cloud platform. Now, apart from this evolution, I'm going to explain you one of the use case for on-premises data center. So that is called another key point for today is HPE collaboration for true hybrid cloud. Recently, during the HPE Discover 2023, last year, last month, sorry, last month it was happened in US. So during the HPE Discover, they officially announced HPE GreenLake for VMware Cloud Foundation. Okay, it was launched last month only. So that point I'm going to discuss now. See, HPE GreenLake for VCF is an on-premises solution delivered with a cloud experience to unify and simplify operations. So let me elaborate this point. Generally, cloud experience means how the how we experience the cloud is. The, the cloud can be a, either AWS cloud, Azure cloud, Google cloud, IBM, any other clouds. But most popular public clouds are AWS, Azure, and Google cloud. But in general, how we can subscribe the virtual machines are, we can log into the public cloud portal and we can subscribe based on the customer requirement. We can subscribe the VMs, but we are not, we are not paying the bills for a virtual machine. We are paying a bill for a usage services. The same monthly bill, what how much you used for a virtual machines or AWS EC2 instances, those usage only we are paying the bill. The similar kind of experience we are getting in a on-premises with together with HP and VMware. And HPE GreenLake is nothing but a, it a pay as you go model. And this GreenLake can be implemented from edge to cloud platform. And the GreenLake, the main key features are managed for you. HP is providing a managed services. We call it as GMS, HP GreenLake Managed Services. And if the customer required to manage their data operations, HP is have a, that service available. And another key feature within the HP GreenLake is pay per use. That means if the customer requirement is 100 physical servers, they want to run with a 100 ESX host. So they no need to pay for the ESX physical boxes. They can pay only for the monthly usage of those 100 ESX. I took the example of 100 ESX. It can be a N number of ESX. So not only ESX, even though if you use any of the physical equipment for the networking, all those are considered as a pay per use. So monthly, if your usage is 60%, you can pay monthly bill only for those 60% usage. Sometimes it may be 60%, sometimes it may be 70 or 75, 80 and so on. If it is usage is increasing more than 80, if, when you require a scale up, even the HP provide for a scale up services. They can increase the nodes. And if your usage, usage is less, there is a possibility for scale down. All this flexibility is available within the HPE GreenLake. And it is also provide a self-service model. Same how, how we are using a AWS public portal, Azure public portal, self-service portal, same kind of self-service portal we can experience with the HPE GreenLake for VCF solution. And within that solution, within the VCF, as we know, the main key components are compute, VSPA, storage, VSAN, 
networking nsx and management means aria suit and it also have intrinsic security and it will provide a life cycle automation that means it covers the all the day to operations updates and upgrades this all comes within the hpe green lake on premises solution whatever the products we discuss let me show you in the following slide let's say how hp and vmware come together to deliver true hybrid cloud if you see in this diagram in the below there is a legend highlighted here the blue color hpe managed portion and green color customer managed portion let's talk about hpe managed portion hpe green lake bare metal service that means we have compute multiple servers storage and network and within the uh, on top of this uh, infrastructure we are implementing the vcf management domain so management domain means the main components are stdc manager software defined data center manager vcenter to manage the one's virtual infrastructure multiple esx host and virtual machine vspa vsan and nsx and even vcf also have a facility for aria so uh, we can also use one of the feature is tanju as well for the containerization applications and these all this hp managed tools also have a centralized self service portal that is called hp green lake edge to cloud platform it have a role based access to the vmware tools like all this vmware tools and billing and also capacity management capacity management means whenever the any additional resources are required it will also have a forecast it will provide a forecast report and with the, with the help of that we can also identify which are all the vms are over utilized and which are all vms are under utilized that information can be exported from this tool and also have a consumption analytics that is a benefit of this tool and on top of that we can in include a separate domain that is called virtual infrastructure workload domain so this workload domain completely managed by customer and it is also running with their production vms data and applications okay and last but not least the benefit of this solution the main key benefit is there are so many benefits but one of the key benefits are reduced infrastructure tco total cost of ownership and it is mainly for unified billing that includes hardware software and services provided by hp hp also have a main key service are professionals advisor and professional services green lake managed services and also hpe cloud services okay hope you got an idea that's it thank you for your time if you're watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to the ignant cloud garage channel if you're already subscribed i appreciate all your support Bye for now.